Hi kids, my name is Casey and welcome to this beginner guitar series. Today we're going to learn about the parts of the guitar, how to hold the guitar, and we'll even do a bit of playing. Make sure you stick around for the whole video because I want to make sure that you're all set to rock and roll for the rest of this series. I'm not your true potential. Let's talk about guitars. So there are two basic guitar types, acoustic and electric. Either one is fine for learning because we basically play them the same way. Now let's look at this acoustic guitar. It has many parts. The big part's called the body. This long part here is called the neck. This piece here is the bridge. At the bridge, we can see strings coming out. Hey, by the way, how many strings does the guitar have? That's right! The guitar has six strings. Okay, let's go back to the neck. On the neck, we see these metal things sticking out. These are called frets. Now, as we go down the neck, we reach the head, and at the head, we see these knobs called tuners. These knobs help us to tune the guitar. One thing that I'll ask is to make sure to not turn these knobs until we've learned how to tune the guitar. If you do, you could make your guitar really out of tune, or you could even snap a string. Ouch! That's about it for the parts of the guitar. There are actually more, but we don't need to go into any more detail right now. Now let's talk about holding the guitar. We want to make sure playing the guitar is as easy as possible. That's why it's important to hold the guitar in a way that's comfortable for us. If you're sitting, I recommend sitting on a low chair or cross-legged on the floor. If you want to stand and play, you'll need a guitar strap. It connects to your guitar and goes over your shoulder so that you can stand and play without holding the guitar with your hands. Now that we've covered some of the basics, let's do some playing. Let's strum the strings. You can either use your thumb or a guitar pick. If you don't have a guitar pick, that's okay. Either way works. If you do have a guitar pick, hold it like this. Let's keep strumming. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Strumming is when we play more than one string at a time. Let's keep practicing. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. When I say rest, I touch my hand to the strings and I make them stop ringing like this. Now let's practice picking the strings. We're going to start with the top string and pick down like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome! The top string is actually the sixth string, and the bottom one is the first string. Now let's start from the bottom and go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Amazing! If your guitar strings don't sound like mine when you play them, it could mean that your guitar is out of tune. That's okay. We'll talk about tuning in the next video. For now, just keep rocking. It's time to review. If you'd like to practice on your own, you can do the two exercises that we learned today. Strumming the strings like this. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. And you can pick the strings. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you go from the bottom up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will do it for our first lesson. Thank you for following along today. 
Congratulations on taking the first steps to learn the guitar. I have a lot more to teach you, so make sure that you keep an eye out for the next video in this series, because there's so much more to learn. Bye dudes! Oh hi there! I was just practicing one of my favorite riffs. Hey, do you want to learn to play the guitar? Yes! Well, I would love to help you to learn. In order to play the guitar like me, you'll need to learn how to count frets first. It's like the old saying, you need to learn to crawl before you walk. Ugh, let's not show that ever again, please. Roll the intro! I'm not your true potential. If we want to play awesome songs, we need to be able to count frets first. Let's quickly review what frets are so we know how to count them. Frets are the metal pieces that stick up out of the neck of the guitar. As you can see, there are a lot of them. We can count frets by first sliding our finger down to the end of the neck and placing it on this plastic piece called the nut. Now if you slide your finger this way so that it's between the nut and this fret here, we'll be on the first fret. When we count and push down on frets, we actually count between the metal frets. It's kind of confusing, but we'll practice so it gets easier. Okay, so this is the first fret, and if I slide my finger over the fret itself, I'm now on the second fret. If I go over one more, I'm now on the third fret. I can keep going higher by sliding my finger over each metal fret and counting the next higher number like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Let's practice counting frets from the first fret up to the twelfth fret. Start by moving your finger down to the first fret here. Let's count, starting on the fret that we're currently on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yay! If you got lost while we were counting, that's okay. You can pause the video and you can practice at your own speed until you get it. Check this out! You may notice that some frets have dots on them. My guitar has dots on 3, 5, 7, 9, and 12. 12 is kind of special because it has two dots on it. Does your guitar have dots on some of the frets? Which ones? Now let's practice jumping around to different frets. Go ahead and find the first fret again. Okay, now let's go to the third fret. Now let's go to the fifth fret. Now go to the seventh fret. Awesome! Finding different frets is what you need to be able to do to play songs. And playing songs is what makes learning the guitar fun. It's time to review! Frets are the metal things that stick out of the neck. We can count the frets by moving our finger up the neck and counting between each metal fret. Some frets have dots on them. That's it for today's episode! Aww. Don't be sad, because there will be plenty more to learn in the next episodes to come. What do you think we'll be learning next? My guitar doesn't sound very good. It must be out of tune. I want to practice my guitar, but it's out of tune. I guess I better tune it then. Hey, maybe your guitar is out of tune as well. Yes! Well, let's learn about tuning then, because I don't think Ricky can handle any more of this noise. The basic idea with tuning is that we can make each of our six strings higher or lower by turning the tuning knobs. Each string is supposed to be tuned to a specific note or letter. The strings are tuned to these notes starting from the sixth string. E, A, D, G, B, E. The way that you can remember these letters is by saying this sentence. Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. Oh man, I hope that Eddie's okay. Anyway, to know if your strings are in tune, you will need a digital tuner that clips onto the head of your guitar. This is the easiest way to tune. 
You can also download an app to a phone or a tablet to help you to tune. Caution! The most important thing is to get help from an adult because tuning can be confusing. Make sure you don't turn these knobs on your guitar if you don't know how to tune. You can make your guitar really out of tune, or you could even snap a string. That reminds me of a story. One time I was playing a show with my band. We were rocking out and the crowd was really into it. We were just getting to the best part of the song, and then a string on my guitar broke. It surprised me, and I thought for sure it would ruin the performance. However, I looked around and it seemed that no one had even noticed or cared. Actually, it may have made the crowd cheer even louder. Anyway, I kept playing to the end of the song, and it was in that moment that I realized that the show must always go on. You will need to tune each string higher or lower depending on the current tuning of your guitar. The tuner or app will help you to figure out which way to go. Hey, you may also want to check out this other video about tuning. It was made by a real life human, and you might find that more helpful. I'm gonna tune my guitar now. Just give me one sec. One minute later. Okay, this sounds good to me. Ricky seems to be a lot happier too. Now make sure you tune your guitar because in the next video, we're gonna be learning some awesome songs and we wanna make sure that your guitar sounds great. Oh, good morning. I'm just finishing my breakfast and then I was gonna jam. Hey, do you wanna jam with me? Wait, you know what a jam is, right? I'm not talking about this stuff you spread on your toast. I'm talking about playing music. Well, I've got great news, because today we're going to play music together. So finish eating your breakfast and grab your guitar, because it's time to jam. I'm not your true potential. Learning to play music doesn't have to be hard or complicated. You can make great music with just a few notes. Before we start playing, I will need to teach you a couple of things. Let's take a look. Here we can see the neck of the guitar with its six strings. The sixth string is the big one on the bottom. And if you look at my guitar, you can see that it's this one. Find the sixth string on your guitar now and play it. Good! Now we see this number zero on the sixth string. When that number reaches the green line in the middle, you need to play the string. Let's try that now. Good! Let's try that again. Nice! Now let's do two notes in a row. Great! Let's do that again, just to make sure that we got it. Awesome! Now let's practice playing along to a beat. Remember to play each time the number reaches the green line. Here we go! Great job! Now we can see that the number zero is on the fifth string. That's here on my guitar. Try playing that now. Nice! The fifth string is the second one from the top. Let's jam along with another beat on the fifth string. so much fun! One thing you should know is that if you want to get really good at playing the guitar, you will need to repeat things over and over again. This is called repetition. When you repeat something over and over again, you're training your mind and your muscles, and that is called practicing. Warning! If you ever feel frustrated while you're practicing the guitar, take a break and come back and try again later. It may be that your hands are tired from playing, or you're hungry because you skipped your breakfast. One last thing. Learning to play music should be fun, and I hope that this jam session was fun for you, too. Hey, 
Is it lunchtime yet? Because all this jamming made me hungry. <laughs> Casey, it's time to practice the guitar. Hang on, Mom. I almost got him. Yes! That was a tough boss. Well, I guess it's time to practice. Sometimes I wish I didn't have to practice the guitar. But you know, how else would I get better at playing these sick riffs? I'm glad that you're here with me today because I'm gonna show you how you can practice your guitar so that you can play sick riffs too. In order to play cool riffs, we need to learn how to play different numbered frets on the guitar. We already did a video for finding frets, but today we'll actually be playing them. The first note that we're going to play is the open 6 string. That's the top one. Go ahead and play that now. Now let's play the 5th fret on the same string. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Use your pointer finger and push down on the string. While you're pushing down kind of hard, play the string. Nice! If you get a dead or a muted sound, try pushing a little harder and play it again. Let's go back to the open string. Play that three times like this. Now go back to the fifth fret on the same string and hold it down and play that three times. Awesome! Now we're going to play along with a beat. When you see zeros, play the string open, and when you see fives, press down on the fifth fret. Here we go. Nice job! That's a song that I like to call the Two Note Jam. Hey, if you want to get even better at the guitar, consider buying one of my books. Casey's Guitar Jams for Kids, Casey's Guitar Method for Kids, and Kids Guitar Jams. All three books are for sale on my Shopify. Let's practice another song. This song's called Surf's Up. You can also find this song in my book Kids Guitar Jams. It sounds like this. <laughs> play surfs up, we will only play on the top string. You will play the following notes. 5-5, five, 3-3, five, three, three, one, one, zero, zero. The numbers are the frets that you're supposed to press down on. Let's find these notes now. First find the fifth fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Play that twice. Now let's go to the third fret. Play that twice. Now let's go to the first fret, and then play the open string. Now let's play this one to a beat. Amazing! Congratulations on learning how to play cool riffs on the guitar. Now you can practice these two songs to get better. The Two Note Jam and Surf's Up. Practice playing them over and over again. Each time you play them, they should get a little bit easier. Well, now that I've got my practice done for the day, it's time to get back to playing Alien Invasion, because the final boss is next. 